morning, and welcome once again to the Morning Meditation with God radio ministry, brought to you each morning at this same time by the generous and loving members and friends of Midwest Church of Christ. Midwest Church of Christ is located at 2115 Garland Avenue here in Louisville, Kentucky. We like to extend to you and to your entire family a warm and loving invitation to come and be with us in any and all of the services of the Midwest Church of Christ. Again, located at 2115 Garland Avenue here in Louisville, Kentucky. Our order of services include each Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. is our first worship of the day. And then at 9.30, we have our Sunday Bible School. At 10.30, we have our second worship of the day. On Wednesdays, we have our midweek Bible study, prayer and devotional services. Our first session is at 10 a.m. in the morning, and our evening session is at 6.50. That's 10 minutes before 7. If you would like to study the Bible in the comforts of your own home, we have two ways that you can do this. One is the Bible correspondence course that you can take by mail. The second is the personal home study where someone will sit down with you, study the word of God right in the comforts of your own home. Either way, you give us a call at 774-3986. We'll register you today. And other announcements. The the Wednesday Bible class coming up this week, we're going to be doing that virtual um, on the computer. Um, and um, uh, we hope that you will uh, make plans to come and uh, be with us as we uh, study the Word of God. You're going to, uh, we're going to do it all electronically. You can do it from your home. You can do it from your automobile. No matter where you are, you can do, um, take time and uh, attend Bible study this week. We're going to be working to um, get the um, work with the the people with the uh, uh, the government. Um, there'll be there'll be room uh, for you to come to the uh, house of prayer. Uh, and be a part of it live, or you can pick it up in your um, uh, in your home uh, or wherever you will be. Make sure that you uh, uh, tune in uh, to the uh, Midwest Church of Christ uh, uh, Facebook uh, and. Uh, you'll be able to get that, um, pick that up uh, on, on, uh, uh, on Wednesday evening. Uh, make sure that you, you get that done. Also, we will be sending out uh, a conference line that you can call in and, and then be able to participate in the, uh, uh, Bible study, uh, along with all the members uh, working together, uh, you can ask questions, and uh, we can all have uh, interaction with one another. So let's do that, and 
Uh, some of you can even do video uh, uh, watching and uh, interfacing. So we're going to work that out uh, today and get you ready for that. Praise be and unto God. It will be Wednesday morning that you'll get your instructions, or it may be uh, even tonight. So let's keep that in mind. The the uh, prison, the uh, uh, Friday Night Live uh, has been postponed uh, for this week. Um, and um, the, um, uh, the Midwest Unity Day, um, uh, Fifth Sunday Fellowship Dinner, uh, that has been postponed for for the month and uh, the Christian Life Improvement Plan uh, ministry, the clip ministry, will also be uh, over till uh, April. So, uh, so keep that in mind. The Village Learning Center is looking at all ways that we can serve our children uh, that we know need the, the help uh, in their academic uh, 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 studies. So we are going to, we're working on uh, helping the children that are part of our Village Learning Center, making sure that we can do some things with them online uh, and, uh, and in positive, if necessary, uh, small, small groups uh, of the children at, at a time. So it's going to be uh, something that we know uh, our children in our learning center, there are those that need the attention that we can give them. There'll be no kids cafe this week. Uh, and uh, let's, uh, the clothing uh, ministry um, uh, will not be in session this week. Uh, the fifth Sunday uh, fellowship, um, we're, we're talking to the churches as we speak, and uh, uh, hopefully this week we'll have an answer uh, so everyone can make plans. We do know that we are postponing our fellowship dinner uh, at, uh, on that day, so keep that in mind. The uh, meeting for the ladies uh, uh, retreat uh, uh, on March the 21st at Newburgh, that meeting has been postponed. Um, the ladies lecture has been postponed until uh, the first week in August. We know that that would be a blessing to so many, and may our God, may our God bless you and and keep you, uh, is our prayer. Midwest, we are calling on you, uh, calling on you to, uh, with our 100 year uh, church uh, celebration. Uh, but let all those uh, that trust, uh, that put their trust in thee re rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy because thou did, uh, defendeth them. Let them also love thy name, uh, be, re be joyful in thee. We are asking all members of Midwest to make your donation toward the 100 year celebration. We want everybody to make a $100 gift to uh, the, uh, uh, the ministry. Uh, God told Moses in Exodus 35, 
and verse 5. All those with a, with a willing heart, let them give. Uh, we want those who has the right heart for God to give uh, $100. Uh, you put that in the in a rejoice envelope that is available at the usher's desk. Every member will have availability available to them, uh, a t-shirt, a casual tote bag, and admission uh, to the banquet. This is a once in a lifetime event. Please join with us and let's make this a great, a great time. Get your stewardship uh, package in. Uh, we need that all in by uh, the end of the month. Praise be unto God. Now let's remember our sick and study. I want to pray for our dear friends, our dear sisters in Christ, Sister Linda Brano, Sister Terry Clay, Sister Clarice uh, uh, Floyd Johnson, Sister Emma Johnson, Sister Anya Lawson, Sister Tanya Lee, Sister LaShonda McGill, Sister Don Marie Sizemore, Sister Jaquay Thomas, and pray for Brother James Fraser and uh, Brother Angelo Pentagrass. Also, Pray for our shut-in, Sister Louise Covington, Sister Sarah Cowan, Sister Mary Hunter, Sister Pearl Smith, Sister uh, Opal Pace, uh, Sister Savannah Johnson, uh, Sister Mary Wood, and uh, Brother James uh, Frazier. Keep these in your, in your prayers and ask God to, to be with them. And I know God can. But now we want to remember those going through the dialysis, radiation, chemotherapy, and other treatments. We want to continue to pray and ask God. Ask the Lord to to be with us. And uh, we know that our God is able. And we pray that everyone um, will pray for thee. Uh, those, uh, pray for our friends, Sister Angela Walls Gill, Sister Sheila Heiner, Sister Sandy Hammond Schuler. Uh, Sister Rita Kamishi, pray also, pray also for uh, Sister Sarah, the daughter of Brother Clark, and Sister Ellen Stannard. Also, we want to pray, <clears throat> want to pray for. Um, Sister Beverly Bledsoe, Sister uh, uh, Anya Lawson, and Sister uh, Latanya Johnson. Pray for Brothers Jasper Crenshaw, Brother Richard Rose, Brother Gary King, Brother Frederick Hines, Brother Marvin Stevenson, Jr., and Brother David Ellis. Pray for these. Ask our God to be with them and strengthen them. Would you? We want to give thanks to the God for those who supported the radio ministry this week. I want to say thank you to Sister Linda Bird. Uh, 
Brother Tony and Sister Chiquita Curry, Brother Earl Fleetwood, um, Sister Angelica Robertson, Sister An Anya Anda Lawson, Sister Joey Stevenson, Brother Kevin Stevenson, Sister Marilyn Wester, Brother David and Sister Rita Kamishi. Thank you for your generosity and your kindness to watch this radio ministry. God bless you. Let's go to God in prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. Now let's open up our Bibles to the book of Psalms, the first division. The book of Psalms, the first division. The Bible, the word of God said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and it is in his law that he meditate day and night, and uh, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the, of the ungodly shall perish. Now, let's open up our Bibles to the book of Matthew, the 12th chapter, the third, the fifth chapter, and the verse is three. The Bible, the word of God says in Matthew chapter five, beginning at verse three, blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall seek God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you 
and shall see all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake rejoice rejoice he says rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for I so persecuted they the prophets which were before you now <clears throat> let's open up our bibles to the book of matthew the sixth chapter the book of matthew the sixth chapter the word of the lord says for if you forgive people their their wrongdoing your heavenly father will forgive you as well but if you don't forgive people your father will not forgive your wrongdoing Tuesday, March the 17th, 2020, our daily devotion is entitled God's Measuring Measure for Forgiveness. God's measure for forgiveness. Perhaps you, perhaps you can consider yourself a forgiving person. But you are now facing someone whom you cannot stand or forgive whenever you struggle to forgive you need to revisit what you were like when god first forgave you Ephesians chapter 2 said, And you were dead in your trespasses and sins, which you previously, uh, amen, walked according to the ways of this world, according to the ruler uh, of who exercises authority over the lower heaven the spirit that now working in the children of disobedience we too are previously lived among them in our fleshly desires carrying out the inclination of our flesh and thoughts and we amen and we were by nature the under the children under the wrath of uh, 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 wrath as others were but God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love that he had love for us, made us alive with the Messiah, even though we were dead in trespasses. You are saved by grace 
brothers and sisters, we were all, we were all in this strait. But God showed me his mercy. Yet God forgave your most previous uh, sin and your rebellion against him while you were still rejecting God. Christ died for you. Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. This brings, this brings, so how much can you refuse to forgive those who are, amen, who sin against you? Forgiveness is not a spiritual gift. It a skill are a inherited trait forgiveness is a choice jesus looked uh, down on us for those of us who will forgive others the same way that jesus forgave us and died for us at the cross. Jesus used, Jesus said rather, that the measure in which we are forgiven is the same standard God will use in forgiving us. God's ways are very different from our ways. God's forgiveness is not based upon our standards we determine, but can, but on the standard he established in the word of God allows for us for no amen exception when it comes to forgiveness there is to be no exception god doesn't want any exception forgive looking unto jesus who is the author and finisher of your faith and so is the readings from the books of the lord the book of psalms the first division the book of matthew chapter 5 verse 3 through 12 and uh, here in the book of uh, matthew chapter 6 verse 14 and 15 now let's open up our Bibles to our featured study found in the book, found in the book of Matthew, uh, Hebrews rather, in the book of Hebrews, the 7th, the 12th chapter, and we'll be reading verses uh, uh, 18 through 24. The Bible, the Word of God says, For you have not come to what could be touched, to a blazing fire, to darkness, gloom, and storm, to the blast of a trumpet and the sound of words those who have those who 
heard it, begged that not another word be spoken to them. For they could not hear what was uh, commanded. And if even an animal touched uh, the mountain, it must be stoned. The appearance was so terrifying that Moses said, I am terrified and trembling. Instead, you have you have some you have some you have come rather to Mount Zion to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to myriad of angels in festive gathering to the assembly of the firstborn whose names have been written in heaven to God who is the judge of all to the spirits of righteous people made perfect to Jesus mediator of a new covenant and to the qual the sprinkled blood which says better things than the blood of Abel. Verse 18 again said, For you have not come to what could be touched, to a blazing fire, to darkness, gloom, storm. I want you to know, to the blast. Of, the, of a trumpet and the sound of words. These, those who heard it begged that not another word be spoken to them, for they could not bear what was commanded. And if even an animal touched uh, the mountain it would it would be stoned the appearance was so terrifying that moses said i am terrified and trembling oh my 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 We talked yesterday how the Hebrews, how the Hebrews wanted to come to Moses. They wanted to, they wanted to speak to God for themselves. And so God then, God then began, he granted that. And so when God came down to the mountain, God told Moses, speak thou with us. And, uh, and he told the people come up around. But when the people saw the smoke, uh, when they saw the mountain quake, they saw and heard lightning and thundering. Oh, when God's presence 
come. Amen. You, you can't bear what the, the presence of the Holy God would be. And so Moses said he feared. Uh, what happened was this. When God first began to give the law to Moses, there was the blast of the trumpet and the, and then God himself appeared before uh, the people to speak to them. And when the people heard it, they said, they said thus with us, speak thou with us and we will hear, but let not God speak with us let lest we die the people understood they 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 were not ready to be in the presence of the holy god verse 22 says instead you have come to the mount zion to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to married, to to married, uh, marriage of angels, and festive gathering, to the assembly of the firstborn, whose names have been written in heaven. To God, who is the judge, amen, who is the judge of all, to the spirits of righteous people made perfect, to Jesus, mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood which says better things than blood of Abel. The New Testament approach to God is by far the new covenant, the covenant of God's grace. This is the covenant of the New Testament. The way a person really becomes acceptable to God. In fact, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the grace of God, God, the grace of God's very amen very own son is the only way a person can ever be made perfect and acceptable to God. The, the apostle Paul writing to the church at Rome, he says in, in Romans chapter 12, I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. God wants you to recognize that you are a daily sacrifice. You are to be that daily sacrifice demonstrating that you are like your heavenly father. The scripture lets us know that in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 1, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, 
we have a building of God and house not made with hand, eternal in the heavens. In John chapter 4, the Bible says, but the hour cometh, and now is Jesus, when the true worshipers uh, shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And the book of Hebrews, the 11th chapter, the, 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 the Hebrew writer declares, for he looked for a city which had foundation, whose builder and maker is God. But now they desire a better country that is an heavenly, wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he had prepared for them a city my brothers and sisters god has a better place a new a new jerusalem that is preparing in the heavens for those that love the lord with everything going on down down here you 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 need to have your mind set on the heavenly, the heavenly home, the mansion that God has for you. You need to have your heart fixed on Jesus and that covenant promise that you have a, a man, a, a mansion in heaven that you have can walk on the streets of gold that you can set by the river of life where you will be able to sing praises all day long time will be no more and uh, Amen. You will be able to get what you need. You can eat from the tree. Amen. The tree of life that bears its all manner of fruit all year around. I'm here to tell you, you take a pear out and a pear comes back. You take some grapes out and another cluster of grapes come in you've got an apple need for an apple you need some other fruit well you just go to the fruit tree and get you the fruit and when that fruit gets eaten another fruit appears i come to tell you that's a place i'd like to see a place like that i'd like to live in a place like that i don't know about you but i am looking forward to the day that god will send me will bring me home bring me home yes i'm i'm like i'm like all i'm like all other people i'd like to stay here as long as i can but i i am never I am never misunderstood. I understand that there's a better place than this place. And that's why you gotta keep your eye. Keep your eye on Jesus. 
Praise be unto God. Praise be unto God. Keep your eye on Jesus. We're going to open up the prayer line. And uh, if you would like to, if you would like to have prayer, you give us a call. Now, this uh, Facebook has changed up. The way we do we do Facebook. I'm not sure what you are seeing. I see a little box of me on this on the right bottom side, but I don't know what you're seeing. And I'm not sure. I can't see who is watching. I, I tried to get up and uh, get to this new way, uh, this new screen and, and uh, process. Uh, and I think I, I'm going to practice on this a little bit. Uh, I practiced last night. But I really, uh, I didn't work it out like I thought I did. But, but no matter what, uh, if you want prayer, you need to send your prayers in by calling 571. No, that won't work today. 571 won't work today. Um, we, we will need you to call 502. Uh, heck, I can't even remember the, the number, the line, the, the number that I, I, I just have it written down uh, and I just tap send and it goes, and I think it's 776 -0119. Seven seven six zero one one nine. That's exactly what it is. If you you call that number today. Seven seven six zero one one nine. You can get your prayer request. I I cannot see any request that you are making. I'm not sure what you see. Uh, this morning, and uh, we'll be we'll be looking we'll be looking to see what uh, what what will come of it. Those of you that are on the ra listening directly through the radio, uh, we'd like to hear from you. Call us, give us uh, uh, what do you see uh, on on the uh, screen. I'll be able to uh, look at it in a few moments uh, when we get off, but I'm not sure what you're what you're seeing. I'm not sure uh, 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 how to share this. This doesn't change the round. Uh, it asked me if I wanted to go back to my own. I said yes, but it didn't take me back. <laughs> so praise be unto God. Praise be. Unto God. 571 1240. Let us pray together. Let us call upon our God that He may bless you and bless those that are around you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ is the great mediator before the God of heaven, making intercession for you and me. But as the morning meditation said, our forgiveness is measured by the forgiveness we we do 
for our brothers and sisters in Christ and how we treat people of the world. We ought to treat people with kindness, generosity, love. You, you will never be able to make contact with people till they can see that you genuinely love them. And that's what God is wanting you to do. Praise be unto God. Praise be unto God. Bow with me. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God and Father in heaven, as we bow this morning, we bow with great, great uh, and deep concern for the things that are going on in our world. Lord, the world has made it hard for even your people to worship you. The virus of night of 2019 that virus is mounting up against uh, the house of god that uh, that virus is challenging the churches of christ to meet and uh, a man and worship and praise our God, there are those who are saying, I can't have but 10 people at a time. I'm here to tell you, this is one of those things that we need to pray for an answer before our God, because my, oh God, we know that you have commanded us to worship on the Lord's day. Help us, O oh God, to uh, with the wisdom that cometh down from above. Lord, we thank you for every person that was listening this morning to the morning meditation with God. I pray for them. I pray for their families, for their children, their children's children. And I pray for our sick and shut in, for those going through dialysis, radiation, and other therapy. Please, oh God, be their deliverer and help us as we journey this week that we may worship you in spirit and in truth in the name the mighty name of jesus amen my time is up for today i've enjoyed being with you look forward to being with you again on tomorrow Till then, know this, our God loves you, so do I.